Hi everyone, it's Sonia from Angel Light Healing here. Thank you so much for joining me. This is your Twin Flame reading, What Does the Divine Masculine Want to Tell His Feminine? So if you are after your own personal reading or a Twin Flame reading, get in contact with me at angellighthealing at outlook.com or the details are in the description box below. So I've already gone ahead, I've intuitively selected and shuffled the cards for you. That card that you see right there is from the Angel Answer card deck. So Divine Feminine, um, there are two cards actually I should say that uh, flew out. Divine Feminine, if you have a question for your Divine Masculine, then the answers are here. Let's get started with this reading. So the first card is from the Moonology deck and the card is saying confidence is your key to success and it is a new moon in Leo. All right, so some of the Divine Masculines may be a fire sign and Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius or the Divine Feminine is. But I am feeling there's a lot of fiery um, energy here, a lot of passionate energy. And the, the Divine Masculine is saying here that he's building his confidence and he's building the strength as well, just like the lion. Guys, we are in the lion's portal um, at the moment and I feel like the... I just read it yesterday actually, the gates um, will be opening on the 8th, today is the 5th, so three more days, so I feel that the Divine Masculine is building his confidence to come back to his Divine Feminine, to express love, to communicate, okay, the yellow in this card does represent the solar plexus, which is just here under the heart, um, and what that represents is power, so I feel that the Divine Masculine is getting his power back. Okay, some of the Divine Masculines have been dealing with a karmic here as well, so which has been weighing them down. It's been, um, this could be a divorce, this could be a current karmic relationship, this could also be to do with legalities, just take it how it applies to you. Um, but yeah, it could definitely be a third party situation here, but I feel that the Divine Masculine is um, growing uh, more confidently and he's also... Um, more confident in what he wants and what he desires, okay, which is the feminine, all right? The next card is adjustments are required. The divine masculine knows that he needs to make changes too, okay? There's a white and black moon there. That does represent that change is coming. Anytime, guys, you see a black and white feather, it means that change is definitely coming. So the Divine Masculine knows that he needs to change some aspects of himself, um, which has, you know, been brought up from the past with his Divine Feminine. And this is definitely to do with communication. This is about speaking his truth. This is about communicating his true feelings towards his Divine Feminine. So the Divine Masculine is acknowledging here that he needs to make changes in order to, you know, promote this union, to get closer to his divine feminine, all right? The changes can also relate, again, to the karmic uh, situation he may be in. It can also relate to children, which can be affecting, you know, him and his feminine um, growing closer or, you know, starting a union together. So, yes, changes are required. This can also represent the divine masculine changing his thoughts. So, maintaining a more positive outlook than you know, getting into a depressive state. For some of the Divine Masculines, they have been feeling this overwhelming feeling of emotions, okay, that have resurfaced from the Mercury retrograde. I don't want to blame it on that, but it can be from that. But it can also be from communication that he's had in the past with his Divine Feminine, which has been, you know, which has stirred up emotions for him. All right, so he knows that he needs to make a change here. So he's acknowledging this Divine Feminine. A time to give rather than take. So this is a new moon in Virgo. When I see new moon cards, for me, it represents a new beginning here. Now, a Virgo can be an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Okay, so it could be the masculine or the feminine. Just take it how it applies. The green in this card is healing. So the divine masculine is saying that the divine feminine heals him. The divine feminine... Um, yes, is honest and has brought up these emotions and he knows he needs to deal with this. And he's saying here he wants to give back to his Divine Feminine. His Divine Feminine has given him a lot of insight, a lot of love, a lot of passion, a lot of honesty, which he admires, okay? So he wants to give back and he's saying, now's the time I need to pull my finger out and give back to my Divine Feminine who has been waiting patiently for me for some. All right, so he doesn't want to take away from his Divine Feminine. He doesn't want to take away from this connection. Uh, he wants to give. 
The next card is you're being helped. Heaven is watching, sorry, heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see results yet. Yeah, so the Divine Masculine has been working with the Divine here for help, and he has asked for help from the universe to, to guide him on the right path to move his to move towards his divine feminine i'm going to bring this closer to you guys because if you can see right there see the divine masculine hiding and he's keeping an eye on this um little girl this feminine what that's telling me is that the divine masculine has not taken his eyes off the goal here on the target which is the divine feminine all right so the divine masculine wants to help the divine feminine as well even if he has been in the distant, in the background. He's saying, Divine Feminine, I, ha I am communicating with you telepathically. I'm coming to you through your dreams. Are you picking up on my energy? All right. So the next card is, it's all about new beginnings with the Divine Masculine. Look at that, a new dawn. The worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon. So the Divine Masculine is working on rebuilding his confidence again. He's working on letting go of the past, letting go of the karmic, so he can make this new life that he desires with his Divine Feminine. He sees he wants this new start with his Divine Feminine and he wants to go with the flow here, just like the ocean in this card. Okay, and this card is also about the sun. Look at that. The sun rise or it could be a sunset, but I see there's a sunrise because it is a new day. So the Divine Masculine is taking it day by day. He doesn't want to rush into things. He just wants to go with the flow. Now, the next card is from the magical messages from the fairies and make your true feelings to yourself. The Divine Feminine just had this card in her reading too. So the Divine Masculine wants to admit how he really feels towards his Divine Feminine. And he's been working on building the courage and strength to do this Divine Feminine. So he sees that the Divine Feminine may be sitting there alone, not knowing what, how he feels or what is going on inside of him, his emotions, what he's going through at the moment. Um, but he knows what he truly desires here, and that is to be with his Divine Feminine. And it is a perfect timing. It is a perfect timing to be open and honest. It is a perfect timing for a brand new start here. This is a blue card. Again, this represents your emotions, but this is about the throat chakra. Okay, so the Divine Masculine wants to communicate with his Divine Feminine, and he feels that that now is the perfect time. Um, we are in this lion's portal again, so there is an opportunity for you, especially on the 8th, the 8th of the 8th. Okay, the eighth is very symbolic. Eight is also the infinity symbol. All right, so this is a good time for the Divine Masculine, and he knows it's a perfect time to communicate his true feelings here. This is the right time for you to move forward, yeah. So the Divine Masculine wants to move forward in a positive and confident way with his Divine um, Feminine. Wow, all about new beginnings, Ostara. This card is from the Archangel Oracle cards. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas and give birth to new conditions. This card is called Fertility. This is the card of new beginnings. For some of the Divine Masculines, they've been envisioning, envisioning their life with their Divine Feminine and perhaps having children with their Divine Feminine for some who can relate to this. But I do see this card as a new beginning for you. So the Divine Masculine wants this new start. He wants to... Um, reignite that passion. He wants to explore, you know, his divine feminine. He wants to be sexual with his divine feminine. All right. So this is a purple card, which does represent Archangel Michael. So this connection is divinely protected. All right. And some of the divine masculines have been working closely with this Archangel to cut the cords that are attached to them that stem from past hurts that stem from the karmic. So this is very, very symbolic that the Divine Masculine wants a new start and it's the perfect time. Guys, I have three um, Romance Angel cards here. The first one is, it is safe for you to love. The Divine Masculine, I'm getting tongue twisted, <laughs> tongue twisted. The Divine Masculine knows that it is safe for him to love his Divine Feminine. It is safe for him to be vulnerable. It is safe for him to be open and honest because his Divine Feminine has done nothing but that. Even if it has hurt him in the past, the Divine Feminine may have been quite open, quite truthful, and quite blunt 
but the divine masculine respects this about his divine feminine and he wants to love his divine feminine and be open as well so he's also telling his divine feminine here i want you to be vulnerable too with me i perhaps i have hurt you in the past but i want you to know it is safe for you to love me okay what's the next card yeah true love the divine masculine sees his divine feminine as his true love he sees this connection as a twin flame connection this is the romance of a lifetime okay so the divine masculine longs to be with his divine feminine look at that beautiful the last card is worth waiting for that is what the divine feminine's got too so the divine masculine is saying um you are worth the wait i know and i'm worth the wait too this is going to just bring us closer and closer together because i see you as my true love divine feminine i want this union with you i understand that waiting has been difficult it's been difficult for me too because i've still had you know crap to work on um healing the past my relationships my karmics you know it has stirred the pot a bit but i know that this is worth it and you are worth it divine feminine i want you to know that i want to put you up on that pedestal i see you as my true love i see you as my divine feminine and i want to express my love to you so divine feminines two angel answers here what is your question all right and this these are your answers you got whoops i should go that way take action and communicate clearly so divine feminine maybe it's up to you to take that action to open the lines of communication perhaps that's what your divine masculine is waiting for okay on the flip side this could be the divine masculine taking action here and making his way back to his divine feminine to communicate what his true desires are what he wants what he's feeling all right so the action card see how he's on a horse there the divine masculine is making his way back to his divine feminine that's a journey he's on a journey here all right he wants to communicate his true feelings to his divine feminine that's beautiful he wants to open up here and talk about what he has been going through but the divine masculine wants you to know divine feminine that he has been communicating with you through your dreams as well and he's been sending you signs have you been picking up on these signs all right so the dice here they are four and one yep there you go look at that four and one that equals the number five five is all about change change is coming it can also represent the month of may for some all right but change is definitely coming so there is a change going in the right direction here the divine masculine is going in the right direction um, and he's making his way back towards his divine feminine so that is absolutely amazing and beautiful all right so that is your twin flame reading what does the divine masculine want to tell the divine feminine if you are after your own personal reading or a twin flame reading get in contact with me at angellighthealing at outlook.com please don't forget hit that subscribe button and hit the like a button as well on my videos and share my videos too if you resonate and many angel blessings to you all thanks guys